Do you have continuity or association plan for your business? Has anyone shared the concept of sustainability with you? What about the need to protect the rights of minority childhood? What are those ingredients germane to having effective meetings? For these and many more, tune in to a corporate governance platform every Thursday. MITV, your darling station, on DSTV 255 and UHF 43 at 4.30 p.m. Corporate Governance Platform is your best medium for informative and educative strategies for the practice of the corporate governance profession. Institute, Institute of, of Chartered, Chartered Secretaries and, and Administrators of Nigeria, Nigeria. ISAN, the, the Hub of, of Governance, governance professionals. professionals. Many thanks for joining us on Corporate Governance Platform, proudly brought to you by Ixan, the hub of governance professionals. I am Tunde Odeyemi, and in this evening's episode, we are going to look at the role of company secretary as a board conscience, and of course, as a linchpin to effective governance. I have with me right here in the studio, a distinguished fellow of the Institute of Shelter Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, uh, Ms. Olubukola, Olonode Agaga. Ms. Olonode Agaga is a seasoned company secretary and corporate governance practitioner with over 20 years experience. She is a certified corporate governance trainer, auditor, and board evaluator. She is a member of the Nigerian Bar Association, a fellow of the Institute of Chateau Secretaries and Administrators of Nigeria, and INSOL International an international association of accountants and lawyers who specialize in business turnaround and insolvency. She is currently the managing associate of Alsec Nominees Limited, a firm of chartered and, com and corporate governance practitioners registered in 1987 and an affiliate of the law firm of Udo Udoma and Belo Osage, one of the largest commercial law partnerships in Nigeria. Ms. Olubukola Olonode Agaga, you are welcome to Corporate Governance Platform. Thanks a lot, Dr. Deyemi. Thanks for having me. Okay. Good evening, viewers. Yeah, it's a pleasure having you on uh, this episode, uh, of, on today's episode of the Corporate Governance Platform. Thank you. And we are going to be discussing the role of company secretary as the board conscience and linchpin to effective governance. Uh, I would like to also invite our viewers to participate in today's program by sending text message only for your comments or questions to our guest on today's topic. Send your text message to 080-2323-1287. You have the number on the screen of your TV set, 080-2323-1287. No calls, only test message. And when you send your test message, please do us a favor by putting your name on the test message. Thank you. Yeah, Mrs. Uh, Miss Olonode Agaga, uh, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, I'd like to start by asking you, what does a company secretary, what role does a company secretary play in an organization? Thank you, Dr. Dayami. So, um, despite the name company secretary, the role company secretary plays um, in an organization is not clerical okay it's not a uh, secretarial okay they are not typists okay they are not clerks okay. they are not uh, minute takers okay. as some people think so, so so many people once they hear oh company secretary they think all you do is attend meetings and then you start taking minutes of meeting and that is all they do no mm -hmm. that is not the role company secretaries play yes um at the inception of the concept company secretary or company secretaries in the 16th century with the joint stock government, company secretaries were seen as mere servants. Okay. To be seen and not to be heard. So they were expected to attend meetings, just sit down there, take down minutes, and that was all they, they were expected to do. They weren't even expected to talk at meetings or to make any contributions at all. But over time, the role has evolved. Okay. And then at a point um, in Nigeria, around 1986, company secretaries were seen as officers of the company. No more the lowest 
or the wrong on the managerial so no ladder. more the minute taker no more just the minute taker no more a clerk no more a somebody to just write or a secretary people started seeing them as they are or ought to be and that is a key managerial personnel so among the key managerial personnel in the company that is the ceo that is the chief chief executive officer is okay. one key managerial personnel the other uh, key managerial personnel or kmp for sure is a chief finance officer okay and then you have the company secretary so that is to show you the role that company secretaries occupy. Company secretaries are seen as a conscience of the company. Mm. A company secretary is the chief compliance officer of the company. Mm. I'm with you. Is a custodian of corporate governance okay. in the company. Um, the company secretary is the anchor or if you, if you like, like you said, the linchpin of the company. So it's the anchor that holds everything together. That's the role that company secretaries play. So in defining the role of a company secretary, I'll talk about the statutory roles okay. recognized by the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020. And then I'll talk about the strategic roles. Okay. The roles defined by the um, Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance. Okay. Um, the statutory role of the company secretary, as defined by Section 3351 of the CAMA, includes the generally known one, attending meetings. Okay. Rendering all sectorial services at such meetings. Um, attending meetings of the board, attending meetings of the company, attending meetings of board committees, assisting the chairman and other directors to comply with the rules and regulation and conduct the meetings according to laid-down procedure. Mm. In other words, make sure that um, due notice is given for the meeting, make sure there is a quorum, make sure the directors comply with the laid-down rules and um, procedure for the meeting. That's one of the major role, statutory major role of the company secretary, and that's the most commonly known role of a company secretary. The other role that a company secretary performs, one of the other statutory roles, is maintaining registers okay. and other records of the company. Register of members, a company secretary is expected to keep the register of members, register of directors, directors interests, all those statutory registers register of charges, all those registers. Keep the records of the company. Make sure that the records are properly kept. When you say registers of members, you mean the shareholders? Yes. Okay. So when I say members, I'm referring to shareholders. shareholders. Okay. So it's like you call them shareholders or you call them members. members. Okay. Another statutory role played by the company secretary is rendering returns. Hmm. Statutory returns to the Corporate Affairs Commission. So every time I refer to CAC, I'm referring to the Corporate, Corporate Affairs, Affairs Commission. Commission. Corporate okay. Affairs Commission is the company registry in Nigeria. They regulate the incorporation or you know establishment of companies and all that. So um, is making statutory returns to the CAC and giving necessary notification. For example, a director leaves the company. It is the responsibility of the company secretary to inform the CAC that there has been a resignation on the board. Um, every company is expected to file the annual returns. It's the resp responsibility of the company secretary to make sure that the annual returns are filed as a way you. So that's another role, statutory role of the company secretary. And then any other role or any other duty assigned to You actually them. mentioned the strategic role as well. Yes. Okay. So I've just finished with the statutory, statutory. roles. So the strategic roles of the company secretary are those listed in the Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance. Okay. The Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance and other sectorial codes actually uh, govern regulated entities. Mm. So the code does not really apply to every company, so to say, just regulated entity. 
but a wise board will make sure that it follows the tenets of the Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance. Even, Even though it is not regulated? Yes. Okay. Because, you know, in doing that, you are ensuring the sustainability of your company. You are projecting your company for growth and expansion. Okay. You're making your company attractive to investors. So, um, the strategic role of a company secretary as enumerated in the Nigeria Code of Corporate Governance, I'll just call it the Code of Corporate Governance, okay. include advising directors. Mm. See, we've moved from just attend meetings and take down minutes to you advising directors. Okay. They are advise individual directors of their duties and responsibilities, advise the board as a whole, help in the induction when you talk of induction of directors is training. When a director is just coming uh, on board newly, you need to um, introduce them to the company, introduce them to corporate governance principles. Let them know how to, um, even where directors have been serving on other boards, when you get to a new board, it's a new culture. Is a new setting, so you need to get to know that setting, be part of that setting. So it's the role of the company secretary to ensure that that all those directors successfully uh, integrate to the existing board. So it's the role of the company secretary to conduct this um, induction. It's the role of the company secretary to train directors. You assist in their training. Okay. That shows you how strategic that role is now. We've moved from a mere servant to a trainer, to an inductor. The company secretary has the responsibility to ensure that directors are not conflicted. You are, uh, it's the responsibility, strategic role of the company secretary to make sure that the company complies with all statutory regulation, uh, statutory requirements, requirements yeah. regulatory requirements to ensure that um, higher standard of corporate governance and ethics um, is followed. So that's at some of the strategic roles of the... Okay, the, the, the the, 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 these roles are master. very, very comprehensive. They are robust indeed. Now, in a situation whereby the company engages an external company secretary. Are the roles that you have just mentioned, are they the same if the country engages an external company secretary? Yes, basically. The law does not differentiate between an internal company secretary and an external, external company, company secretary. So company secretaries are just company secretaries. But for external company secretaries, they have an advantage okay. in that they are not part of management, so they are independent. They can um, maintain objectivity. Okay. They are not conflicted in any way. So that's the advantage of an external company secretary. You are not part of management. You are not conflicted in any way. You are so not biased. So that allows for objectivity. So it allows for objectivity. objectivity. Okay, let's just look at uh, uh, the companies and allied matters act. You actually made mention of it in your opening remark. Now the Kama 2020. Uh, relieve small companies from the obligation to appoint a company secretary. Now, the issue now is if a small company decides to appoint one, what advantage does such companies stand to gain? Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Demi. Like I mentioned earlier, um, even for unregulated entity, I advise that it's better you follow the tenets of the Nigeria Code of Corporate Company Governance, governance. notwithstanding that it doesn't apply to you. For small companies, uh, the Kama gives them the option of having a company secretary or not. Okay. Um, what the law actually says is that every company, Section 331 of Kama, says that every company except a company secretary, sorry, except a small company, must have a company secretary, shall have a company secretary. So in other words, a small company can decide that, oh no, I don't want to have a company secretary. So 
But next question, that's all I'll ask you. So how do I know whether I'm a small company or a big, big company? A small company is currently defined, and watch, I say currently defined because it changes according to the Finance Act. It's the Finance Act that actually defines, gives the definition of a, a small company. So currently, a small company is defined as a company with a turnover of 120 million and net assets of 60 million. So those are companies that are known as a small company. So for a small company, the law says is elective. You may decide to have a company secretary or you may not uh, want to have one. Um, ordinarily, people will think of oh, small companies, directors of a small company will think, oh, okay, that saves us some money. But in the long run, it's going to be more expensive for them mm -hmm. because the requirements of the law are the same, majorly, okay. for small companies and big companies. There are certain things that the law expects every company to do. For example, how your letterhead should look or the stationery of the company should look. It's the same requirement for a small company and a big company. Most people don't even know this requirement, but company secretaries, because of their special training, okay. know that this is how your letterhead or your stationery should, should be. There are other requirements, requirements of filing returns, necessary returns. So if the directors think, oh, because the law says we don't need a company secretary, then we are not going to have one. At the end of the day, they'll uh, start paying stiff penalties mm. when they run foul of this law. Wonderful. That is one. Another thing that could happen is that directors will now not be able to concentrate on the business of growing the company and focusing on the company's objective. They will now be concerned with compliance issues. Remember I mentioned that the company secretary is the chief compliance officer sure. of the company. So is that responsibility? Sorry, I tend to use her more, you know, because of course I'm lady so it comes naturally for well, me I think you understand that it <laughs> <laughs> comes naturally for me to use her ah. when talking about company secretary so it's our responsibility to ensure compliance with legal rules and regulations and statutory requirements so where a small company decides to have a company secretary then you don't need to bother so much with the compliance aspects of the business you know someone is taking care of that and that is why it's advisable for small companies, notwithstanding the provision of the law that you don't need a company secretary to engage the services of a company secretary. If they're concerned about the cost, then you can outsource the service. Okay, I can see the importance of having a company secretary is to advise the company and to enable the company face the really object of the oh, uh, of yes, the business okay let's quickly go on a very short break when we come back we continue our conversation with uh miss alona dia gaga please don't go away do you have continuity or association plan for your business has anyone shared the concept of sustainability with you? What about the need to protect the rights of minority shareholders? What are those ingredients germane to having effective meetings? For these and many more, tune in to a corporate governance platform every Thursday on MITV, your dialing station on DSTV 255 and UHF 43 at 4.30pm. Corporate governance platform is your best medium for informative and educative strategies for the practice of the corporate governance Profession Institute, Institute of Chartered Charter Secretaries and, and Administrators of Nigeria, Nigeria. Ixan, the, the Hub of, of Governors Professionals. You are welcome back. It's State Corporate Governors Platform, proudly brought to you by Ixan, the Hub of Governors Professionals. And we are discussing the role of company secretary. And uh, I still have with me right here in the studio, Ms. Olubukola Olonodi Agaga, doing justice to that uh, particular topic. Yeah, you actually spoke on the the the, the importance on the role of, of the role of the company secretary. But I'd like to ask this question: What are the 
qualities that a good company secretary must possess to succeed on his or her job. Thank you very much, Dr. Odeemi. Um, a company secretary to be successful, the first thing is that you must know the business of the organization. Okay. For you to be effective, you must know the business of the organization. You must understand the regulatory and legal landscape of that organization. That's the first step, knowledge. And it's one of the most important qualities, knowledge. You must know the business. You must know the law. And then you must know regulations as well. A company secretary, an effective company secretary, must be passionate mm. about corporate governance practices. Must have a high level of integrity. Because so many uh, people companies, directors, management staff might want to cut corners. Remember I said the company secretary is the conscience of the organization. You must ensure, you must have that confidence, that boldness to be, and be able to stand, that independence of mind to be able to stand for the truth at all times and make sure that your company is complying with legal regulations, procedures and tenets of good corporate governance. A company secretary must be a multitasker. You must be able to multitask. You must be diplomatic. Okay. You must be able to balance different interests. The interest of your board, the interest of management, the interest of stakeholders. You know, a company secretary must be able to balance all these interests. A company secretary uh, must have uh, uh, Numeracy, numeracy skills. Skill, yeah. You must be able to read accounts. Even though you are not an accountant. Even though you are not an accountant. And that's why it's important to be chartered. Okay. So, um, where a company secretary is chartered, you're trained. One of the things that you learn is how to read accounts. Okay. You must be able to read accounts. Those are parts of the qualities of a good company secretary. Okay, let's look at the Code of Corporate Governance. The Code provides that subject to the provisions of the extant laws, the appointment and removal of the company secretary should be a matter for the board. Why is this provision necessary? Why is it that it's the board that should appoint or should also remove the company secretary? Simply to maintain our independence. Okay. That's it, to maintain our objectivity and our independence. Where the company secretary is appointed by management, Maybe by the end. By the end, okay. Uh, our loyalty and our allegiance will be to the management or to the MD. The company secretary is not expected to report administratively. Yes, you can report to the MD, but specifically you report to the chairman of the board. Okay. And so to maintain that independence of mind and to make sure that she's not conflicted, that is why the law provides that the board should be the one that appoints the company secretary and that has the power to remove the company secretary. Okay. In fact, for company secretaries of public companies, Kama laid down specific procedure to be followed to remove the company secretary. So the board cannot just wake up one day and say, oh, uh, Madam Company Secretary, we, don't, we no longer like your face, we are taking you off the board. No, there are specific provisions and procedures to follow. Uh, the board must give her sufficient notice, seven days notice of the intention to remove her, then they must give her another seven days for her to respond, if she has any response. Uh, if she doesn't, or if the people for uh, fraud, because of fraud or gross misconduct, we want to quickly remove this company secretary, then they will remove her, right? But they need to report back to the general meeting, okay. the shareholders that this company secretary has been removed and then give reasons. Then where uh, is a case of fraud or gross misconduct, then they can suspend her, mm. not remove her, and then report to the general uh, meeting. When I say general meeting, I'm referring to the shareholders, reason why they are removing or they want to remove her. And then the general meeting will decide the dates of the removal of the company secretary. It just underscores the importance of the company secretary in an organization. 
Okay, so there are procedures to be followed if a uh, company secretary is going to be removed. You don't just wake up one day, you don't like the face of the company secretary and say, go. That is our offering for today. This is where we wrap it up on today's uh, episode of Corporate Governance Platform. We want to thank you very much for joining us. I want to thank our guest, uh, Ms. Olanodi Agaga, for thank coming you. on the show to share your thoughts with us. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Demi. It's been a pleasure being here. Okay, we invite you to join us again next week, same station, same time. Uh, my name remains Tundi Odeyemi. Keep spreading the gospel of corporate governance. Bye for now. Do you have continuity or association plan for your business? Has anyone shared the concept of sustainability with you? What about the need to protect the rights of minority shareholders? What are those ingredients germane to having effective meetings? For these and many more, tune in to Corporate Governance Platform every Thursday on MITV, your darling station, on DSTV 255 and UHF 43 at 4.30pm. Corporate Governance Platform is your best medium for informative and educative strategies for the practice of the corporate government profession institute, institute of, of chartered secretaries, secretaries and, and administrators, administrators of nigeria, nigeria. it's the, the hub of governance, governance professionals, professionals.